Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about redirects in Franklin. In general, any application or system you use to host your website, each application or system provide you a functionality or a way to implement redirects. Redirects are the essential part of your website. If I talk about AEM, you can implement redirects at two places, either at the web server or at CDN level. Generally, we add redirects over web server. But if I talk about Franklin, Franklin is a serverless system and Franklin also has CDN, multiple level of CDN. So definitely you can add redirects over CDN, but that is a CDN provided functionality. In this tutorial, I'll talk about how you can implement redirect in Franklin where content author, developer or marketers has more control over what kind of uh, redirects being implemented for website. So as a standard, there is a same way how you achieve other functionality, like you can implement redirects using Google Sheet or Microsoft Excel. So you create a sheet, either Google Sheet or Microsoft Excel, based on what kind of uh, system you use to host your content, either Google Drive or SharePoint. So create a sheet with name uh, redirects in at the root of your folder, means root of your directory at a root level. And inside the sheet, create two columns, source and destination. Now, you can implement both kind of redirects, means there are redirects which are internal to your website, means source and destination, uh, like you add any source and destination is in your website page or destination could be external to your website. So you can implement both kind of redirects here. Uh, now let's get into a demo and see how you implement those redirects. So at my root means at the root level, I created a Google sheet with name redirects. And if I open, there's a two columns, source and destination. So I added a few redirects here. So what I'm saying, whenever I had slash eds slash home, so my index page means whatever the landing page of my website that should uh, that should be redirect to that landing page same if i hit cms it should redirect to cms slash cms and i also added couple of more redirects so if you see you can assume those as a vanity url as well so source could be anything uh, destination could be either internal page or external website keep in mind whatever the source you add here even if you have the page even if you have the same page over your website let's say you have a page called cms at root of your website but still uh, redirects always given preference so it will redirect to your destination it won't show the existing page now let me quickly move this sheet to content hub right so you can see our changes has been moved to server so what are they if you check here let me copy this here first and see if i hit this eds dot home slash home so it should redirect to the index page right let me do this so this is the index page of my server, right? My website, right? So it is being redirected here. If I do like this, let me copy this. Let's say slash CMS. Let me hit this one slash AM. Right. So see, it is being redirected. It has been redirected to my this page, right? So the redirects are completely working fine. There's one thing you need to understand here. Let me update this and let me add one more redirect here. This is important and that could be your interview question. So you would notice here in row number three, uh, row number four and five, there's the same source, but destination is different. In row number four, it's a AEM obviously. And this one, row number five is a cms.franklin, right? So it's different destination. Now what should happen if I publish this, what when I hit slash AEM, what should be the destination page here? Let me hit that and see. Uh, let's say AEM. See the Franklin came in, right? So now 
you must understand that redax are calculated from top to bottom so there is a no flag here what are flags like you add in web server rules there's a no flag so whatever comes last that is actually the destination of your your source means redirect now one more thing. all these are internal pages so what if i want to redirect to external site it's the same rule the only thing is that your destination should start with https or http let me add one redirect here for you let's say if i say slash documents so i have added in row number seven slash documentation and the destination path is the documentation page of edge delivery services let me move this let me preview and changes have been moved to uh, franklin if you see the row is available so if i add here slash document let me close this I, it should be redirected to the documentation page which is external and that that has been redirected so that way we can implement redirect in franklin using google sheet or microsoft excel i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment thank you